Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Dima. Welcome to the family. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I made this yummy tasty Nigerian tomato stew. If you want to know how I got this wonderful recipe, stay tuned and let's get started. For this recipe, I'll be using fresh tomato seeds. You can use thin tomato if you want, but I want mine fresh. I'll be using sweet chili pepper and also red bell pepper for this recipe. In here, I have my onions, my ginger, garlic and my nutmeg. Then I'll be using chicken as my protein. You can use any protein of your choice. I will also use this tomato seasoning mix. I like using it for my tomato stew. In here I have my curry powder, my seasoning cubes, spicy tea and then salt. I already washed my tomatoes and my pepper, now I want to blend. I always like to blend my tomatoes and pepper smoothly so that there won't be any seed afterwards. I already have a neat pot sitting on my gas cooker. So I'll go ahead and introduce the blended pepper and tomatoes into it. I'll leave the tomato on fire to cook for about 15 minutes for the water to reduce. In here I have my ginger, garlic, onions and nutmeg. So I'm going to go ahead and blend it and keep it aside. This is me prepping whatever I'll use for my tomato stew recipe so that it will be easier. So now let's chop our onions. You can chop your onions any size you want. Let me know in the comment section how you like chopping your onions straight or in a box form. <laughs> In a neat pot, you would like to introduce your already washed protein into it and season it up. So now, this is me adding my seasoning cube, curry, spicy tea, salt, my blended ginger, garlic and onions, then salt. Just spice up your protein however you want it to be spiced, just to give it a good taste. Guys, with this seasoning, my meat stock will surely come out tasty, very tasty. You wouldn't like your protein not to have taste, just season it properly. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stir it, add a little water, give it a quick stir again and cover it up to cook for about 10 minutes. It's already 10 minutes, let's check on our protein. Mmm, the aroma from this chicken is welcoming. At this point, the chicken is all done and soft. So I'm going to go ahead and separate my chicken from the chicken stock before frying. Now it is time to fry our chicken. In a frying pan or a deep pot, you introduce your vegetable oil. I would like to use a pot because this is the pot I'll be using to make my tomato stew. Once your oil is heated up, add in little chunks of onions, then add in your chicken. The onions is just to give your chicken a nice flavor. So now after adding it in, once one side turns to golden brown, you flip it over to the other side for the other side to fry. Please, if you've watched to this moment, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you've not. You can also help me share out this video. At this point, my chicken was already done. So, I'm going to go ahead and bring it out of the oil. I'm going to use the same oil to fry my tomatoes. So, this is me putting in my tomatoes. Remember, we reduced the water in the tomatoes drastically so that we can fry our tomatoes. So this is me frying my tomatoes right now. You have to fry it until it has a different color and different taste. When you are frying your tomatoes, you have to keep stirring it so it won't get burnt. You have to stir it every second so your tomatoes won't get burnt 
and turn to black color <laughs> so it's time to add my tomato mix that i showed you guys earlier once i add it i will keep stirring okay now it's time to add my onions i love plenty onions in my tomato stew so once i add it i'll keep stirring it until that raw tomato taste changes you wouldn't want your tomato stew to have a sour taste so you have to keep frying it for a very long time until the taste changes why you see me keep stirring it is because i don't want my tomatoes to get burnt tell me how you like frying your tomatoes on the comment section now i'm going to add up my seasoning to taste and still keep frying now that you've added your seasoning it can get burnt in a twinkle of an eye so you have to keep stirring after adding your seasoning some people fry their onions first before introducing it to the tomato puree if you do that let me see your comments on the comment section if you noticed i didn't add a lot of oil while frying my tomato puree because really i'm not a fan of too much oil like when you are eating the oil will just sink under and is everywhere nah i like everything moderate so that's why you see my tomatoes like this this is just how i love it if you love it like this like me just put down your comment on the comment section so now this is time to introduce my meat stock we are almost done guys once you introduce your meat stock the intensity of your tomato puree getting burnt will reduce you just have to stir maybe once in two minutes once i'm done stirring i cover it up for it to cook for about three minutes it's three minutes let's check on our tomato stew mm. at this point the aroma of this stew was all over my house now guys it's time to add our chicken once you add your chicken trust me you are done so you can have this with rice white rice with white yam with beans whatever you want to have it with it's your choice you can now taste to know if you have the right quantity of salt and seasoning in your tomato stew as for mine mine was perfect so now if you watched to this moment please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so that anytime i upload any recipe you won't miss out look at this yummy tomato stew thank you very much for watching you guys have been amazing one love bye